We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. His courage and that historic ruling inspire us to keep our full momentum. Justice Stephen Levinson. Thank you, Sean, and uh, thanks to Senator Schatz, Governor Abercrombie, Representative Lee. Like Governor Abercrombie, I was alive 50 years ago, <laughs> and I very clearly remember watching the March on Washington on television and learning from it that it really was possible to change the world. Woo! As Sean said, 20 years ago in 1993 in May, our court took the first step at least the first visible high-profile step, I think, in changing the world when it held that Hawaii's marriage laws in excluding same-sex couples from access to the status of marriage presumptively violated the state's Equal Protection Clause. When our court did that, we were hanging out there all by ourselves. We had, there was significant support in Hawaii for the position that we took, but there was significant opposition as well. And as you may recall, Congress went ballistic and in direct, specific response to our decision in Bear v. Lewin, the United States Congress, by a significant margin, passed the Defense of Marriage Act, which blessedly, two months ago, and two days, I think, the United States Supreme Court struck down, at least in significant part. Woo! Woo! And added, maybe doubled the energy uh, behind the march for marriage equality that is ongoing all over the world. We are no longer hanging out over the edge in front on the marriage equality issue. Since the year 2000, marriage equality has been recognized and given legal effect in California, Connecticut, the District of Columbia, Delaware, Iowa, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Minnesota, New Hampshire, six counties of New Mexico, which, which incidentally is the only state in the United States whose marriage laws are absolutely silent, both at the constitutional level and the statutory level, regarding the subject of same-sex marriage, thereby permitting uh, individual counties uh, to, to uh, give marriage licenses to same-sex couples with the tacit support of the state government. New York, Rhode Island, Vermont, Washington, 
But this isn't just an American phenomenon anymore. It's caught on on every continent of the earth, thanks to South Africa, Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, England and Wales. Queen Elizabeth signed off on it a few weeks ago. And Uruguay. If you look at the map of South America, it's almost entirely, at least geographically, a marriage equality continent now. West, Western Europe is virtually a marriage equality continent now. So I suggest that now is the time for Hawaii to move on, on a high plane and with dignity and discipline and join the other nations and states in entering the 21st century. Thank you. Thank you.